The conventional wisdom is that manufacturing is all but dead in the Bay Area. But that's the thing about conventional wisdom. It's often wrong. In fact, manufacturing in the Bay Area is robust, and plenty of smart people say the sector is poised for growth. I'm Mike Cassidy with one in a series of reports on the state of manufacturing in the Bay Area. In this segment, we look at Whiteleaf USA, a company that has found its own advantages to manufacturing in the Bay Area. The small industrial shop in Santa Clara hardly looks like the epicenter of a computer revolution. But step inside Whiteleaf USA and you'll find workers doing something almost unheard of. Manufacturing desktop computers in Silicon Valley. Building sleek and fast desktops in the United States was the brainchild of Andrew Lee, a 20-something economics and international trade major. He inherited his mother's Santa Clara machine shop last year when she died of cancer. AMS, the mother company of White Leaf USA, was actually started by my, my mother, who did come from a different country, did come to the United States, but even so, she became very, I guess, very westernized, very patriotic. Lee's mother, Mindo Lee, was an immigrant from Vietnam who embraced her adopted country. To her, Lee says, creating and keeping jobs in the United States was practically a patriotic duty. Now he's determined to carry on that legacy. Lee wanted to find a project to keep his workers busy and to keep money coming in the door. He settled on desktops and a plan to live on a smaller profit margin in order to keep the work in Santa Clara. It's absolutely fantastic the fact that we do the designing, the prototyping, the manufacturing, and the assembly all within the same space because at any point during this process, we can go out there and say, stop! (laughs) And if we have a redesign, we don't have to call Asia and say, hey, can you please stop? Keeping manufacturing at its Silicon Valley headquarters is more than a feel-good story for White Leaf. Lee says keeping production close by allows the company to turn on a dime. When a designer or a worker on the factory floor comes up with a better, cheaper, or faster way to build White Leaf's slick computers, there's no need to communicate across an ocean. Not only does that reality save time and money, it encourages faster innovation. Lee says he's inspired by Apple, and the comparisons are hard to avoid. Young guys building flashy machines while disregarding conventional wisdom. White Leaf's compact and colorful machines rely on solid state drives, which means the computers boot up instantly and generally draw less power than desktops with traditional hard drives. Lee is pleased with White Leaf's modest sales so far, and he and his crew have big plans. The company will ramp up to build as many as 5,000 computers a month at their current site. It's really nice for us to hear that our computers have made it crazily all over the world. Um, Not that we're selling in different countries, but the fact that the people that are using our computers are using it to travel, um, using it to go to expos in Asia, expos in Europe. And it's really cool to think that this little product that we designed in California, made in California, is now traveling the world doing its thing.